Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk just a little about the different root systems you may find in plants. Well, I don't know, Brian, our, our crops that we're trying to grow, corn and soybeans, when you've got a taproot plant and it's just one main root going down, it's not exactly the strongest oh. root system there is out there. Okay, well, hold up. So you said corn and soybeans. Corn has a fibrous root system. Soybeans have a taproot system. The difference here is when we're talking fibrous, it's going to go more sideways and down, whereas the taproot, it's got one main root that's going down. But here's the disadvantage. We've either got one main root going down or we got these tiny little roots going out. We've got weeds with much more extensive root systems that we're competing against, and that's why weeds are creating so much yield loss for farmers. We just don't have the best root systems out there on the crops that we're growing. Well, on our crops that we're growing, yes, when you're talking about corn and soybeans. So here are just some other examples, and kind of where Darren's going with this is, when you have perennial plants, there are some other types of root systems that we deal with, other than the fibrous and the taproot that we already talked about with most of the annual plants. So rhizomes, for example, that's our biggest concern where not only do we have for that one plant, it's got roots going down or to the side a little bit. These rhizomes are below ground runners and they can go out a long ways, 10, 20 feet, and they can put new shoots up. So literally one starting plant could end up with many plants within about a 10 or 20 foot circle. So rhizomes are below ground runners. Stolons on the other hand are going to be roots running above ground. So they will go out from that main plant above ground and it can end up with new shoots. So either way, rhizomes or stolons, it's a way for that plant to spread without seed. All right, let's talk about another underground root system, tubers. I think about yellow nut sedge. You look at this plant, it looks like a grass. It's got some little leaves above ground. So you think that's not gonna be tough to kill, but it's got these tubers or sometimes called nutlets down below the ground got a lot of power there when you've got a tuber. So as you can see there are a lot of different types of root systems out there. We're much more concerned about these perennials that have rhizomes, stolons, tubers, things like that because now if you spray a herbicide out there you can't just think about killing the main plant. You have to have enough herbicide, enough dose to get all the way through that extensive root system. Also when we talk rhizomes and stolons we don't like tillage at all because what happens is you cut those plants off and now parts that are in the ground that you can't even see, they can produce new shoots. So the tillage doesn't kill the plant and it can make it worse because now instead of one plant all connected, now you might have 20 plants there that are all separate. Now you've really got a mess. So our advice in those cases is spray a lethal single herbicide dose so you can kill everything, then do your tillage a week or two later. Well, to grow a crop or to control a weed, it's really important to understand the root system that that plant has in order to do the best job. Well, speaking of weeds, our Weed of the Week is a tough one to control. Can you identify this week's weed? 